Hey, this is Zach with OpenPBG, and today we're going to show you how to update the SP140 controller using the configurator tool. So first things first, I'm going to go to config.openppg.com up here. You just type it right in uh, your browser. Uh, this works with Chrome and Edge on Windows and Mac, and you can even use this on Android, but we're just going to show on Windows for now. So if you hit um, get started, we're going to select SP140. And of course, there's information on how to do all the things I'm describing right now. But we're going to go to the config tool. And so now that we're here, I'm going to plug in the SP140 controller. So this is just a standard micro USB cable. And when you do that, you might get a notification in the bottom right hand side of your screen. Um, there won't be any information. Obviously, the rest of the parameter is not on, but it's still powered up over USB. So now that that's plugged in, I can click connect. And then you may see it come up as something other than uh, SP140 controller. That's fine. Now that it's connected, we can see some information, obviously, um, around our settings and where we can change that later. But here's the key. So we are in 5.1 right now. Um, we're going to update to 5.2 and there might be newer versions uh, if you're viewing this later on, but right now this is the latest. So just going to hit download. That's going to save uh, my local downloads folder. And then um, the next thing here is to hit reboot and update mode. So when I do this, you'll see it shows uh, some text that shows it's getting rebooted into bootloader mode. And then the controller just went off. So uh, let's go over to the file explorer here where I have the download. Perfect. So just going to um, see now that there's this OpenPPG C140 drive that shows up. Um, so what's cool about this is I can just drag this downloaded file directly over onto the drive. And you can see just a preview there. There's a couple files on there. You don't have to touch anything. This will simply when I drag this over, install the latest version and then reboot automatically. So it's copy and then that's fine. I just heard it reboot and come back online. You can see that the controller has now been updated. So let's go back over to the configurator and we can see that if we connect again, uh, go up to the top, connect. And now we're on version 5.2. So looks like it worked. Any updates that may come along are going to follow the same process. So feel free to refer back to this video. And that's it for today. Of course, you can also ask us questions uh, via email or better off probably just going to the community site and um, you can ask there, share some tips, etc. So thanks again. Short and sweet video.